with the end of my practical exam. I had my community medicine practical exam today. I'm literally filming in the middle of the exam right now. Guys, exams over. Third year done. Third year done. So happy guys. And I'm itni hooky hu. I cannot tell you. मुझे इतना डर लग रहा था कि मैं सुबह से कुछ नहीं खाया. And this like happens only when I'm in extreme pressure. My last exam सबसे मुश्किल वाला था according to me. But it finally is over. And I am like literally on cloud nine right now. Because I'm also going back. Very bad pack. Honestly, but जो मिल रहा था मैंने बस डाल दिया without analyzing and thinking twice about what I'm putting in the suitcase. मैंने बहुत कम pack करा. I don't even want to pack anymore. I'm so tired. I slept so less last night, like around four to five hours, and like my head has already started aching. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Hello. Guys, I have my flight at 7 p.m. right now. It is almost 3 p.m. तुम नहीं हुए अभी तक. Guys, I'm going back home. Akshay is also going back home, and he's also going on a trip very soon to Gujarat. So, if any of you are Gujus here, comment down below and let us know. I had my community medicine exam today, which went okay. It lasted. That's why we don't care how it went. You know, we don't. We don't give up. Because we know we we are gonna pass. That's why actually. I'm also going on a wedding of a very very close family member, and I am so so happy. Like honestly, I have most of the ceremonies missed kar diye, but it's okay because the main wedding is still left. Wow! Guys, we got our mixi. Let's see what I got. This is my go-to meal whenever I'm hungry. The mac spicy paneer mac wrap. It's like you don't even have to order anything else. This one will fill your stomach. This thing, which he will show you guys, is the only thing I've seen him eating from the past three years from McD. Never a different order. Simple. You can never go with mac spicy chicken. You can never go with mac spicy. Never, never go, go wrong, wrong with mac spicy chicken. But yeah, that's our order. We're gonna relax now because we deserve this meal after a hectic back-to-back -back four practical exams. But yeah. It's time to say bye bye. 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 I got stuck in the security for about 15 to 16 minutes for the camera van because I did not properly open it and like they were a little suspicious about it. So I literally had to open the bag specially to show them that it's a camera, guys. I'm not carrying any e-cigarette. I don't even smoke, so like why would I have that? That was very stressful because that was the first time security stopped me to check my bag. Yay, first experience or something. I have so much time. I'm like way too early. This is really weird, but I'm like way too early. So I don't think this vlog is gonna have much chaos at the airport at least. I need to go to my gate, but I have a lot of time, so I don't know. I might just do something to spare the time. You know when you know that you are adult is when you are actually working on the airport. I went to Starbucks to work first because I really needed to charge my iPad and my phone, and the second because I have this particular order now, and I've never tried it at Starbucks, so I was like, you know what? Let me just try some very overpriced coffee, and the coffee tasted shit. I won't ever suggest you to try iced vanilla latte at Starbucks. It was not good. I got some work done. I planned the next few days, which obviously uh, did not go as I planned them. But it's okay. Let me be a little delusional, thinking that I have got my life together. After that, I boarded the flight. Honestly, at this point, I was so sleepy. Actually, my eyes were not opening, so I did sleep. And then I woke up to food, and I was so excited. Not that I like lights food, but I'm just always excited for food. It was this thing, which I don't really know what it is, but it's like palak and pulao, something like that. But it tasted good. That was nice. That was a nice experience. And then I reached in the hall.
Good morning guys, it is day 2 and also the day of the wedding. Last night I cannot tell you how exhausted I was because like I had not slept in the last 4 days because I had my back to back exams going on. I'm about to get ready for the shadi with all the traveling and the exam stress, my skin breaking out. And even right now I really need my skin to be feeling super hydrated. It's actually a Sindhi wedding and my mom got this made. Everything that I'm gonna be wearing in this wedding, I have never tried it. My mom got it made for me while my exams were going on and so Sabka size has an issue this one's also a little loose what i wore yesterday was also a little loose i told mom that i gained a little weight but i did not expect her to think that i gained this much weight but yeah anyways loose is always better than tight at least i'm like not a pro at makeup at all at all so there's one thing which i suck at actually it would be makeup hello hi guys how are you guys these suits they have not been made it's good to know comments in the okay. okay so now that my base is almost done i'm gonna go there to the window side to do the rest of my makeup and you know in a better lighting way well, i'm ready it's so pretty okay let me just reveal my sister and I are twinning. Twinning, twinning. I'm wearing like a very Sindhi Pakistani suit for the first time, and I like it. I honestly love it. It's like chef's kiss. I'm gonna put a little under. But yeah, now look is ready. And this is the suit, guys. It's so pretty. Now let's go. Cause baby, like. I'm getting ready for the reception. This is like the grandest event. I already like you know got my hair curled. It is like already falling, but like I did not have any setting spray, so that was very much expected. But anyway, so let's get ready. I'm gonna do it quickly. I'm not gonna talk while getting ready because I'm already the last person to start getting ready. So let's do it quick, girls and guys. Ooh. 